So we're gonna we're gonna call this good. Maybe I can do some formatting and some other things to make it look better. Um uh, and maybe I can get some people with because I kind of want to what I do is I want to combine these four things and have one S and then one A and stuff like that. But that's something I could do uh, just to make it look neater. Let's see if we can do a quick ship tier list. So this I kind of want to just I put all these like starting weapons, starting systems stuff. I don't know if I want to take the time to do all that. I kind of just want to do a rough, a rough tier list real quick. Let's do the easy ones. Definitely the S tier have to be Zoltan A. Um, let me actually, let me color these things too before I do this. So Kestrel is like the kind of grayish. Oh, uh, that's not what I want. Kind of grayish there. NGs are they're also kind of silverish. We'll go like the darker gray. No, damn it, wrong thing. Like that. Federation, God, why do all the white ones have to be the same right next to each other? Uh, Federation, I'll do like this color. Zoltan's definitely the green. This messes with green screen, so we got to do like this. Mantis are red. Slug are purple. Uh, rock are orange. Uh, orange. Stealth are kind of a black color if I can get like a really dark gray. That's going to be maybe hard to read. Uh, I'll go with that for now. Lanius are also kind of silvery. Let me just do some other color though so that's seeable. To differentiate. And then crystal will be uh, like light blue. Not too bright. No, that'll work. All the feds have to be towards F. Yeah, feds are going to be at the bottom. This one I'm kind of doing, going to kind of go by what I know are like S tier because I'm thinking. I don't think I do double S's here. I think we do Zoltan A, Lanius B or S. What are also very strong ships? Stealth A. Is Stealth A S or is it A? S for you, Mantis B, Crystal B, Lanius B, Zoltan A. I think there's only going to be two two or three S-tier ships. What do I think is the other strongest ship? I think there's an argument actually for Slug C because of the starting systems. Look at ships. Pull this up real quick. Uh, slug. Hacking and mind control combo is kind of insane. Um, do I think it's S-tier? I think the one, other ones that are could possibly S tier, as much as I want Mantis B to be S tier, I don't think I can call it S tier because it can't kill Zoltan Shield ships. S tier has to be able to kill every type of shit or ship it runs to in Sector 1. So, you know what? I think Stealth A and Slug C actually might, might actually be S tier. I said I didn't want to do that many S's. I think those might actually be the strongest. All right, then what, what, what after that are really strong but have some sort of weakness? I would say Mantis B. I would put A tier. Crystal B. Cannot kill Zoltan Shield ships in Sector 1 and cannot kill Auto Scouts, but otherwise is insane. So I'm going to say A tier. Kestrel A. <sighs> is Kestrel A S tier? It does have two of the best weapons in the game, two of the best like A tier weapons. I think what keeps it out of S tier is systems. What puts these other things in S tier are systems and augments and weapons. Zoltan A has one of the best weapons in the game and has Zoltan Shield. Stealth A has Cloaking, one of the best systems in the game, and insane weapons. Lanius B has, do we have to say any more? Everything. Slugs E has two of the best systems. I think we have to do A tier on Kestrel A. Uh, Stealth A and Mantis B for A tier. Yeah. I think... Um, I think Mantis A, can I put that on A tier? Two-man Mantis boarding is strong. Small bomb is really good. And it can kill, can kill pretty much everything Sector 1, but it's not four-man boarding and it doesn't have any crazy systems. Kestrel A is awesome tier, even though you have no idea what you're saying. Thanks, Shogi. <laughs> What's up, sir? I think Mantis A can be A tier. Um, 
Stealth C, I think, actually can be pretty high. Uh... But it doesn't have cloaking, right? Stealth C's weapons are good, but because it doesn't have cloaking and no shields, I don't think it can be A tier. Its weapons are really good, though, so I think that might actually be a... This might be high to some people. I think this might actually be B tier. Just because of fast-firing weapons. Which didn't know me that notify you that I was live. Sorry, Fuzzy Penguin. Been about two, two hours here. Rock ships are all D. They're all going to be low for me, that's for sure. So what else could be A tier? Do I have any other A tiers? Are any NG... Are any NG ships or Crystal A A tier? Let me look at NG ships. What's the best NG ship? Heavy Pierce and the Heavy Ion. Ion Blast Mark II. Probably NGC is the best because it's got dual lasers. Clone Bay, maybe? Is, that, is, it, is it good enough to be A tier, though? Shields, engines. It has hacking. You know what? Hacking, I think, puts it in A tier. We're going to do uh, NGC as hacking gives it A tier. Lanius A could be because of hacking. Yes. Definitely Lanius A could be hacking as well. It uh, could be A tier. Crystal A, I'm trying to think if that's A tier. I have a lot of A tiers right now. I feel like Crystal A falls off, but is it strong enough to be A tier? Does it have any special systems? It has no special systems. It has four crew. And its weapons are decent. I just don't know that I could justify it being A tier. I think I think Crystal A might actually be B tier. Okay. All right. So Kestrel B has got to be A tier. Is it S tier though? Is Crystal is Kestrel B S tier? I don't think Kestrel B can be S tier because again, no special systems. Even though it's got four weapons, I think it might be at the top of A tier but not quite S tier. Yeah. All right, so now we're looking at B tiers. So far, I have Stealth C and Crystal A at B tier. Um, slug ship. Slug B is down at the bottom. You know, Mantis C, I think, could be B tier. I don't think it's quite A tier. Um, because the anti-synergy between their borders... Because the weapons are crap, it can't kill auto scouts. Well, it can with um, Clone Bay, but it can't. I think B tier is good for this. Even though it's four-man boarding, I think its crew and its weapons put it in B tier. I think Mantis C should be D. I wouldn't put it in D. I wouldn't even do C because it has, it has potential. Potential, I think, is one thing you got to keep in mind. It has the potential to be an insane boarding ship. Uh, Rock B for B tier. Let me see. Rock B, Firebomb, Heavy Pierce. I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of hard to press to put any rock ship. You know what? If any rock ship is... I think the highest rock ship is actually Rock C. The Swarm Missile and the Crystal, the Heavy Crystal, are actually pretty, pretty decent weapons. And it's got a Crystal Crew, which is, you know, blue options. I think we do Crystal C, I mean Rock C as B tier, and that's the highest rock ship. You think NGB is a solid B? NGB? Uh, let's see. Uh, heavy Ion and uh, Pierce Laser. I don't know. It doesn't have any special... I mean, it has drones, but Forever Alone ship is tough. Can you get any dodges on this ship? I guess it starts with Heavy Laser. That's like the best thing going for it. I don't know about B tier. I almost think that's C tier. I don't think it's F tier. But I also don't think it's D tier because it's got heavy laser, so it's really easy to upgrade. I think it's a I think it's a solid C. NGB is a solid C. Uh wait, I say NG yeah, NGB solid C, I would say. Only one crew, but has good weapons. Uh has one good weapon. So I'm gonna I'm gonna say C tier. Um, okay, let's look at, well, we've already gotten, this is, see, I knew this would be way faster, because we're just kind of eyeballing everything. What is Kestrel C? Kestrel C is what, heavy ion, or the ion stunner plus 
Dual lasers. That's pretty good. That one's pretty good. No cr extra crazy good systems or crew, but those weapons are pretty darn nice. I, I almost think I almost think that should be A tier. But maybe it's the weakest of the Kestrel, so maybe we go B tier. You think C? I don't know. I don't know. What, what's nice about these weapons is that they're fast and they're easy to put something with. If you get a single heavy laser, a single flak, a single burst laser too, you're like in really good business. So I think, I think I'm going to go B and that's the lowest we go, Kestrel ships. All right. Um, do I have, no, I have no D tiers and I have very few C tiers. So we're looking at middle of the pack here now. Um, so let's just kind of go ship by ship now. NGA. NGA. Ion Blast Mark II is it's the best ion weapon. I think we decided that from our tier list. Um, but you can't aim the offense. It's either B or C. No weapons. C, besides ion. Kestrel C is the least good out of Kestrels. Yeah. NGA. It's either B or C. I'm actually thinking, I'm actually thinking C, because I really, well, it's got NGs for blue options, though. Just having an NG kind of knocks it a little bit higher. I think maybe high C or low B. You think C? I think it might be C. I think it might be C tier. As much as I want to like it, not being able to aim your defense, I mean your offense, with your combat drone. We might, we might swap that one. That one's a, like a C plus, but C plus next to it. Just in case. All right, Federation ships. Hate them because they have uh, had the worst system in the game, the artillery. Let's just kind of look at which ships are the worst. Federation C, absolute crap. Federation B, pretty terrible, but it's got dual lasers. Federation A has a burst laser. So what's the highest we want to rank these ships? I think the highest we rank a Federation ship is C tier because artillery means you can't get a good system. You think they're all F? I don't have <laughs> Federation B is S tier. I don't think they're all F, but I would say Federation C is definitely F. I would say Federation A is probably the strongest because of Burst Laser 2. And strongest puts it at C, and then we do D for Federation B. You think Federation A is B or A tier? I can't, I can't. I just can't do that. With, with, with it having the worst system in the game, taking them a slot that could be either cloaking, mind control, or hacking, I don't see it being A tier. I don't even see it being B tier. I think C is the best I can give a Federation ship. I think Fed B is C tier. Well, I have no Ds yet, so we might adjust it. Yeah, if you could aim artillery, but you can't. Fed A has best starting crew. It does have good crew, and that's why it's the best one. But is it good enough to get to B tier? I don't know. I don't know. I'm looking at these other B-tier ships, and... You know what? I kind of think Stealth C might actually be C instead of B. Its weapons are good. I'm not sure. I'm going to do either B... I hit minus. Ugh, sorry, sorry. We're looking at we're looking at Zoltan. Sorry, 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 sorry. All right, uh, Zoltan B. I'm looking at Zoltan B. Uh, Zoltan B is definitely better than Zoltan C. And I'm trying to think if it's good enough to be B tier. It's either B or C for me. Because it has three Zoltans and you need a crew for you have all your power, I think I have to go C. Pike Beam is good, but it's not great. It doesn't have any special systems. But it has Zoltan Shield. 
Zoltan Shield, though, man. Zoltan Shield. Really good weapons? I wouldn't say it's really good. Double Ions can be good, but it, you, it's not great. I think I might actually go B tier. I think, I don't think it's, I think Zoltan Shield makes it B tier. I think Zoltan Shield has to be B tier. Now, Zoltan C, however, uh, oh, by the way, here's a ship I'm going to play. It's a really cool looking ship. Uh, Zoltan C, by the way, even with Zoltan Shield is horrible because you can't aim your beam drone and you have the least power in the game. So what is the lowest I can put a ship that has a Zoltan Shield? D tier? Or is D tier too low? I think it might actually be D tier. Not being able to aim my offense is a big deal to me. You guys think C? I think D. I think it's maybe high D, but I think it's D. You can get more power, but it's expensive, Sid Vidius. That's the thing. It's extra scrap to get extra power, which means you have to spend scrap on power, which sucks. You have to spend 40 to get your first one. Sucks. All right. Um, let's see here. Slug ships. Slug ships here. Uh, slug A. Now, Slug A is not the best slug ship because that's definitely Slug C. Slug A is the middle, mid tier. I wouldn't say this one's terrible because it has dual lasers and Breach Bomb 1's not terrible. And you have a Slug Repair Gel and Anti Bio Beam to sell. I'd actually say this is kind of mid tier. How mid tier is it? Is it B or C? What am I looking at for things here? Do I, would I rather play it over Kestrel C? D for Slug A? I don't think it's that low. I don't think it's that low. I, th I think it's maybe C tier. Maybe high C tier. Yeah, the reactor premium really sucks. It really does on the, uh, on the uh, Zoltan C. I think, I, think, I think C tier is good. Now, here we go. What's my lowest ranking? Slug B gets it. F. F. Can I give it an F minus? Hey, you know what else gets an F minus? Rock A. F. F. Get out. F. They're both terrible. Just F. When did Roxy get listed as B tier? Uh, a while ago because I listed as the best rock ship. Let's look at it again. I think it's the best rock ship because Swarm Missile is good. Crystal uh, Weapon is actually pretty darn good early game. And having a Crystal Crew can give you some blue options. And it's the only ship that you actually starting wise could maybe get crystal sector um what did i put it did i put it at b tier it might be c tier but it might be b tier i know but missiles but it, that's the thing though it only has one missile weapon and it has another one that doesn't take missiles that shoots it up for my in my book i mean this this one have has heavy pierce so if i was looking at rock b and rock c which would i rather play Firebomb is really slow. Heavy Pierce can be dodged. I think I'd rather play Rock C over Rock B, honestly. All Manta ships are way too high in your opinion. We'll, we'll relook at that in a second. Let me look at Rock ships here. I think I would rather play Rock C over Rock B. So I think I would rank Rock C at B and maybe Rock B at... I don't think it's as bad as D tier, though. I don't think it's as bad as D tier. So I think I'll go C on that one. Rock B can't vent humans, F tier. <laughs> no human venting. All right, Stealth B. Now, here's a question. Stealth B. I feel like for Stealth B, it's probably going to be the most contentious, kind of like Vulcan. Anybody who hard mode no pause streaks is going to say immediate F tier because it's a streak killer. However, however, in lower difficulties, it's actually pretty darn good. In, in, in easy difficulty, Stealth B is probably one of the best ships. Um, it should be ranked F through S. Is a hard mode tier list, right? It is, though. That's what we have to think about. I'm not, I'm not doing hard mode no pause, but I'm thinking this is a tier list for hard mode. God, I really don't, I really don't want to do F tier, though. Even though I've been wrecked, in Stealth B, I kind of don't want to do F tier. It's world record, but it's only on E uh, easy mode. 
You think it's too RNG dependent? You you think it should be F laner? I think I'm going D. I think I'm going D minus. The problem with this ship is there's so much variance. Dies way too easy? It does. It does. But it also can be the ship that one-shots everything. And, and if it can do that, I, I have a hard time putting it in F. It has potential. It has potential. So I think it's the worst ship that's not F tier for us. Slug B and Fed C should stand alone in F tier. Um, I put Rock A in F tier. But that might be my personal bias. I have three ships in F tier. Slug B, Rock A, and Federation C. Am I too biased against Rock A? Let me look at it. It does have Artemis, which is one of the best missiles in the game. But it just has only missiles. I, I, think, I think I'm okay with that being F tier. I think every ship except Fed C has potential. Uh, all you need is one missile and weapons. Many whistles, m missiles charged before Glade Beam. I know. I know all this stuff. I know all this stuff about Stealth B. But it's the world record ship. And it and it. and if you got a free pre-igniter in Sector 1, I mean, yeah, the pre-igniter, free pre-igniter in any ship would be good. But that is the one ship that pre-igniter is the best thing ever. I don't know. Um, placing the missiles is not that tough. Should we double us? That's an RNG thing, though. And the problem with that is... The problem with that is... You run out of missiles so fast. I don't know. I know, I know. It's world record. Easy with 100 restarts. I know. But, again, we're not doing... We're not doing hard no posh streaking. I think... I think because it has a potential to be strong... And it has cloaking, which is the second best system in the game, in my opinion. I still think it's not terrible. This is a tier list for get one win with or win consistently with. This is a tier list of me. This is my tier list. What ships do I think are strongest and weakest on hard mode? So, I, I would rather play... Like, what would I rather play? Would I rather play Slug B or Stealth B? Probably Stealth B. Would I rather play Rock A or Stealth B? I'd probably rather play Stealth B. Um, Federation C is terrible, so I don't know. Um, let, let's look at let's look at uh, our tier ranking here. If I do this, where it places things, and see if I want to change things out. Stealth B on hard is the least consistent ship in the game. Well, if this was a consistency tier list, then there you go. But sadly, it's not. <laughs> it's a this is a my ranking them. I need to do this again for them to go in the right place. I might have too many S tier, but who knows? Let me see. If we were doing win percentages, then yes, I would probably have to go with F tier, but I'm not. I'm doing it by strength of ship, what I would like to play, and potential kind of thing. Would I rather play Rock A or Fed C? That's a good question. Um... I would probably probably rather play Fed C, just because I hate missiles so much. All right, so we have four on S. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven on A. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven on B. One, two, three, four, five on C. Three on D. Three on F. It's a pretty good spread. Yeah, yeah. Stealth B is a guilty pleasure. There you go. You think Manta ships all down a tier? Really? You must hate boarding, Laner. You must hate boarding. You must hate boarding. What about Crystal B? I mean, I guess I guess that I do have to think about that. Crystal B versus Mantis B. You take Fed C continually saying those poor Zeldons to their death can be fun. You have Mantis B around D tier. Let me think about it. My main weakness with Mantis B is can't board Zoltan Shield ships. It can kill auto scout sector one. I know it's slow, but it can kill auto scouts. Um, Crystal B can't do that, right? Because it doesn't have heal bay. I mean, it doesn't have uh, clone bay, and it doesn't have a way to kill auto scouts. Yeah, some auto scouts. It depends on if it goes in the middle room or not, and the ship layout. You're saying Mantis C is not B tier? 
Um, let me, let's look at the Manta ships. There's some contention from Laner on the Manta ships. Weapons are terrible. But it does have a Lanius boarding, which can... And cloaking. Uh, uh, and a clone bay. So it can kill auto scouts. It can kill auto scouts. Dies way too easy in Sector 1? I think you and I just have different ratings for boarding. Um, if it doesn't die horribly while you wait. True. <sighs> Alright, well here, here's, here, here's the question. What do y'all think is the strongest Manta ship? Is it Mantis A or B? It depends on player skill. I could, I could see Manta C going down to C tier. I could definitely see Manta C going down to C tier. I could see that. I think I just have to rank Mantis B higher than Mantis A. Because four man is so good. I know early game Mantis A I think is more flexible with the, with the, with the laser. B has higher ceiling. A is better out of the hangar. Mantis B is least reliable with skilled play. It's far from durable. But it's got two shields and defense drone, Britnoth. It's got two shields and defense drone. I think I'm going to do this. This is, this is my ranking. Y'all can do your own ranking system. This is my ranking. I'm going to do this. I think Mantis B, if, if I had to choose a Mantis ship to play, I would want to play Mantis B because I, I, I value a high... I value four-man Mantis boarding and the two shields early game really high. Calling it durable is bizarre. You take one point of damage, can die. It's durable because of its systems. How many times do I have to say it? it's got two shields and a defense drone? But I know deep, the defense drone can fail because of the bad layout. I know. But it's the only ship in the game that starts with two shields. How is that not durable, Sector 1? I, I, I think it's good. I think, I think A tier is good on Mantis B. Um, what else are we looking at here? Mantis A... Um, now, of course, there is also the argument that if you get a solar flare, then yeah, there you go, you're screwed. But there are plenty of tier lists where Mantis C is tier D or lower. Okay. Well, I have a feeling I value four-man boarding higher than those people. So it needs two shields because it cannot repair its systems in a reasonable time frame. Okay. Okay. Cool, but you know what I get on every single ship apart from Mantis B and uh, stealth ships? My first upgrade is always level 2 shields. So that's like 50 scrap I don't have to spend on this ship early. I like it. I like it. So, I think, I think, uh, I think I, I, I'm, I'm okay with this. Y'all, some of y'all disagree, that's fine. Um... Yeah, I know, Britnoth. I know. I know Britnoth doesn't like it, but you you can post your tier list in chat. Let me look at if there's anything else I don't like here. Zoltan A, Slug C. I'm actually a little surprised with Slug C. Do I really, do I think Slug C is S tier? I know Britnoth thinks it. It's more like 90 scrap. You don't have to spend early on the shields. Well, you, but you might have to spend it on repairs because if missiles get through or fire, you know, uh, solar flares and stuff. But, um... Do I think Slug C is S tier? And do I think Stealth A is S tier? Do I think four S tier ships is too many? Think Slug C should be A tier? Let's look at Slug C. The mind control plus hacking combo is really stinking good. And Chain Laser, which we just found on our tier list, is actually pretty high for me. I put Chain Laser at A tier, right? Yeah, I put Chain Laser at A tier. Um, um, I don't know. To me, it's like S minus or A plus for Slug C. Because I, I just don't think it's as good as Zoltan A or... Um, or Lanius B. I don't think it's as good as either of those, but I feel like it's better than all the other A tier ships. Yeah, I think it's better than all the other A tier ships just because of systems. Where's Firebeam on that list? 
Gerbil Schooler, uh, it's like way at the bottom. Anything that can't do whole damage, I put way at the bottom. So it's like C tier. I put it on C tier. I'm gonna I'm gonna link these so y'all can look at them later. That's the last thing I'm gonna do on the stream is I'm gonna make commands to link them in chat. I think I put it at C tier, C or D. I think I think we just I think it was C. So is Stealth A S tier? I think Stealth A and Slug C are like. Maybe maybe I do like I did on the other one. I do SS and then S tier. Maybe I do that. Because I feel like the Slugsy and Stealth A are not quite as good. So I think we do this. I think we do this. And we do this. I think Zeldin A, Lanius B, strongest ships in the game, and then Slug C and Stealth A, kind of honorable mention. Do you think Stealth A is SS? <sighs> Problem is, with the number of ships we have, I don't know if I should have that many SS. How many ships are there? Uh, 27 ships? 28 ships? I don't know. It's got humans. It's got humans. Its weapons are amazing. It's got long range scanners and it's actually, is that the only ship in the game that has two augments? Actually, that is kind of amazing. It's the only ship in the game with two augments. Um, I didn't even think about that. Two augments, because titanium systems facing is what, free 40 scrap or something? I think I think maybe I think I maybe would I think I might agree with you there. I forgot about the extra augment. I think I can go with that. So that that leaves kind of slug C then. Do I leave it as S tier or do I just have it be as A tier? Three S You think stealth A is just A tier? I don't know. Those weapons, cloaking and two augments is really good. Just the two augments is kind of insane. Um, but what about Slug C? I feel like it is still stronger than all the A ships, so I either do it in A+, plus or just do it as an S tier. Have one S and three triple S, or three double S? Fun ships aren't the same as consistent ships. It's S tier for being fun. Which one are you talking about, Britnoth? Are you talking about Slug C or, um, Stealth A? Think three S tier ships? Hmm. You're talking about a a Stealth A? You don't think it's consistent enough, huh? I don't know, man. What's what's the inconsistency in Stealth A? In Stealth A? What stops it? Like, uh, asteroid fields? You've got long-range scanners to avoid them. There could be forced ones. Um... So, so I guess the question is, do, do we think Stealth A and Slug C are strong enough to be S tier, or are they like A plus tier? Stealth A is only three weapon slots, can be forced into asteroids with offensive drones, fights with offensive drones. Yeah, so I guess not as consistent as Lanius B and Zoltan A. I kind of feel the same way with the Slug C, honestly. Long range scanners give the most consistency over a whole run of most other augments. That's the thing. It's the augments that I keep coming back to, Nietzsche. Long range scanners is the one augment that I will always go to store to check for, and it starts with it. And it's got really good weapons, and it's got cloaking. So the question is, does a little bit of inconsistency mean it's not quite S tier? I think I, think I have to do it this way. I think I have to go 1 A A+. Plus. I think I need to put both these guys at A+. Plus. I just don't think they're as good. I just don't think they're as good as Zoltan A and Lanius B. So that should do that, right? Damn it. That put the A above it. Uh, okay. Can I do two? Two. Okay. Will that, will that do what I want it to do? Okay. Beam drones with stealth A sucks. That's true. It's true. But it's, it's offense is so fast that it's, it doesn't always um, kill it, you know, like stealth B. 
Yeah, and there are things, there are possibilities of forced, forced asteroid fields. And uh, beam drones are bad. So these are all, these are all good points. So I think, I think, I think I'm okay with this. Slugsy and Stealth A are both really, really strong, but there are things that they're not super strong against. Um, and st for Stealth A, it would be forced, um, forced uh, asteroid fields. For Slug C, it would be auto scouts, maybe, because you can't use the mind control. Hacking is still really good. Yeah, Laner, that's what we were just talking about. Stealth A and Slug C, I think, are both really good, but I don't think they're as strong as Zoltan A and Lanius B. That's the reason. I know it's insanely strong, but I don't think it's as insanely strong as Zoltan A and Lanius B. Let me actually look at Lani uh, Zoltan A. I just assumed it was S tier. Let me just make sure that I still think that. I just kind of said it's S tier. Albert Beam, Leto, Zoltan Shield, three Zoltans. Yeah, it's S tier. It has missile defense because the Zoltan Shield's got the best beam weapon in the game. It's got one of the only, what was it? We only had two weapons at SS, and Halberd Beam was one of them. So yeah, it's definitely S tier. Uh, Stealth A has fast guns to stop the beam drone. It does, but that doesn't always work. It doesn't, it's not, it's not, even if you immediately cloak, if they dodge, there's a chance, there's a chance that Stealth A can take you out. I, I think, I think this is good. I like this. Most people say Stealth A is better than Zoltan A. I would disagree with those people. What ship starts with Advanced Flak? The other S-tier ship, Lanius B. The two ships that have the two S-tier weapons are the two S-tier ships. I think that actually is... I think that lines up pretty good. Or the double S. I, I don't... I like Stealth A, but there are some pretty glaring weaknesses that make it not as good as Zoltan A. No shields is the main one. No shields is the main one. I know, I know, cloaking and all that, but I think, I think this is good. I think this is good. I think I like this. 3F tier, only 3D tier. Do I want to move anything from C down to D is my question. Um, in your opinion, Lanius B is 1, Stealth A is 2, and Zoltan A is 3? Okay, all right. Uh, it's pretty close to mine, so I wouldn't say we're that far from each other's thing. I just, I value uh, Zoltan Shield really high. Crystal B better than, Crystal B and Stealth A are better than whatever, better than Stealth B. Okay. Um, let's see. Um, Zoltan C, Federation B. It's the B and C tier that I was thinking I might want to change something around, but I think I might want to call it here because I do have rehearsal in a little while. I think I might go with this. I didn't do any of the um, putting in any of the systems or augments or anything. I might fill that in later. Stealth A just needs hacking and you can almost kill the boss. That's also Stealth B, Laner. If you, if you say that sentence with Stealth B, you can kill the boss. So, you're like, but it's too slow, slow. Well, you know, you could say that with a lot of ships, actually. Zoltan A, you could say that. If you get hacking, Halberd Beam, right there. Um... Yeah, let's call it there. So let me let me uh, let me make links for these because I'm sure a lot of people will be interested in my tier list. So let me make uh, channel commands for these guys real quick, and this is the last thing we'll do here. Uh, so tier list. Hold on a second. Let me uh, let me. This should be already be bookmarked. I thought I already bookmarked this. I did bookmark this. Okay, good. Okay, so let me go here. NGB is C tier. You're aghast. NGB. Hold on a sec. You're going to keep making me check my list and look at it again. NGB. Uh, or were you kappa -ing? I'm not sure if you're kappa -ing. Making a community post on YouTube with links. Uh, yeah, when I when I highlight these videos, I'm gonna put the links to it in the description as well. No, I think I'm good with that being C tier. C tier. I know it has a heavy laser, but one crew, one crew, and no special systems. Yeah, I'm happy with that. I'm I'm, I'm pretty happy with this. So let me just make the command, and this will be the last thing we do here. NGB is usually considered bottom four. Oh, so you think it's actually higher than it should be? I actually ranked it higher because of the heavy laser. Because heavy laser is such a good weapon, 
and finding any weapon with it would be good. And it has an NG, which has the most blue options. I think that puts it above my D tier ships. So. You're saying NGB is usually the F tier? Um, I don't know. I don't think it's that bad. Just because of heavy laser and NG, I don't think it's D or F tier. Maybe C minus for me, but. Uh, starting weapons are so bad it makes Sector 1 a survival lottery. It's uh, Heavy laser is one of the best weapons in the game. It was one of our S tier weapons. I love heavy laser. It's so... Oh, wait, did I do it as A tier? Actually did it. Okay, I did it S tier, yeah. All right, I'm never going to agree with everybody, so I'm going to keep it where it is. Maybe I'll make some changes. I'm not going to change it now. <laughs> I really need to get going. So let me make this command, and then I'm going to put these links in my... Uh, YouTube video later, uh, stream stuff. I'm going to do this. I do a shareable link here. If you like okay. it, then you better put some bits in it. If you like it, then you better put some bits in um, it. Who is that? Nietzsche with the 300 bits. Thanks for the stream. My, my pleasure, my friend. Okay, so anyone with this link can view. Copy that link. Okay. Uh, so let me do this. Let me add a new command to deepbot. And I guess it'll just be exclamation point tier list. And this will be, uh, oh my gosh. And is it with the prime sub? Thank you so much, my friend. Welcome to the randoms. Or is that a welcome back? Can't see while I have this thing up. One second. All right, let's see if that works. Uh, yeah, he has a, he's a, thank you. New, new sub, that's awesome. So somebody type exclamation point tier list and see if that link comes up and works. Uh, NGB has to hit both shots to damage. Either shot misses, you have to wait. Heavy laser and NG aren't enough to save it. All right, that's, that's, uh, uh, all right, all right. Okay, does that work? Does this go to the link? Can you, all, can you all view that? There should be two sheets. Sheet one is the weapons. Sheet two is the... Um, oh, crap. I, I messed up something. Change that to S. So tier there. And uh, tier ranking is what I put on the other one. Let's do that. Tier... Tier ranking there. So does that link work for you all? Command works, works for you? Okay, very nice. Awesome. All right, my friends. I know there are some definitely people who don't agree with everything there. That's fine. You can definitely make your own tier list or discuss it. I'm going to, I'm going to highlight the first, view, uh, the first video, first half of this stream, or first three quarters of it for the weapons tier list discussion, if anybody wants to watch on YouTube later, and the second one for the, the ship list. And then I'll post the links in the YouTube um, I'll post the YouTube's in the link. The, post the links in the YouTube videos as well. So y'all are welcome to check that out later. I'll probably get that done later tonight. But for now, I'm gonna head out. Thanks for hanging out. I uh, really appreciate you, wonderful folks, hanging out for just kind of this short little chatting stream. Uh, had some bits and some primes. So that's awesome. So y'all have a great rest of your night. Tomorrow we're gonna play some uh, auction non-includes. So I'll see y'all then. So y'all have a great night. Peace out. Happy gaming. Y'all rock. Later, my friends.